Time for the channel update. Lots has happened. Hailstorms, tornadoes, trips to the funny farm, loss of rights. Now, I know that most of you know about the gun thing and uh, me losing my gun rights even because I was found because I was found sane. I was found to be not nuts, so they took them away. Not my guns, they took away the gun rights. The guns have been hidden. I cannot no longer purchase or carry them, though. Hmm. Imagine that. Found not guilty, and you lose your rights. That's a logical law, isn't it? Anyway, uh, the petition that everybody signed, signed was turned over to the governor's office, and guess what? He passed the buck down to the mental health people, uh, uh, the State Department of Mental Health, and, of course, they can do no wrong. They're not going to sit up there and admit that, well, we don't do anything wrong. See, the buck actually stopped at the governor's desk. The buck stops there, but when he doesn't want to do nothing, he puts it off to another agency, you know, just kind of, oh, it's their, it's their doing. Um, just because I'm boss doesn't mean uh, I can do anything. Yeah, well, what do you expect? He was a CEO of a big national corporation, you know, Pilot Oil. <laughs> he he just passes the buck to somebody else when he don't want to fool with it. Now, anyway, for all of y'all that keep asking questions, what's going on? What's the status with your... Um, my legal problems, I'm going to give you the people to call because I don't have the answers they do. One of them is my local senator, Senator May Beavers, my local representative, Mark Pody, and, of course, the governor, I mean governor, that uh, that doesn't have anything to do with the state. You know, he's the, he's the executive, but he has no power according to him or according to his minions that take orders from him. Now, uh, he's probably doing this way because he figures, well, elections, you know, several years away, uh, every, the public has, which is true, the American public has a memory of a uh, gnat. That's right, you all don't even remember what Bill Clinton did. Okay, so, anyway, I got my notes here. So I've put the phone numbers for all of y'all that want to know what's going on. Call my representatives. If you live in Tennessee, call your representative. Ask them what's going on. What's the problem? You know, they, they're the ones that's in control of this mess. And if they try to pass it off, well, that's the Department of uh, Mental Health. And they say, well, we have no control. Bull. They make the laws. You voted them in. To, uh, to, to oversee this stuff, to represent you, they are your representatives to the government. You've got to remind them of this. You are my representative. You need to go do something about this. Don't let them pass the buck, because they'll just pass it off to some bureaucrat. will say, well, we have these rules and regulations that we have to follow. You know what? Who makes the rules and regulations? Your representatives, the senators and congressmen and the governor. It, they operate, they sign off, they pr present bills and everything. So don't let them say that they can't do anything. When they're saying they can't do anything, it means they won't do anything. All right? Now, that goes for your state, too. If you're not in Tennessee, Virginia, California, Illinois, doesn't matter. Same thing goes in your state. Now, I'm, I know I'm probably barking at a brick wall because most preppers, they're, they're as bad as truck drivers. They want to sit there and talk and complain, but when it comes time to do anything, they run and stick their head in the sand. You know, they, they won't take a stand. Well, we need to be more, uh, what do you call it, community. Uh, we need to bend and compromise for the sake of the community. 
not when it goes against the Constitution. There are some things that you do not make. Let's say, oh, I'll take the mark of the beast so uh, so as not to offend, to keep the government from looking at me. I'm going to take the mark. You know, I don't want to be bothered, so I'm going to take it so I won't stick out like a sore thumb. Let's see how that goes over in your second life. Anyhow, uh, like I say, if you live in Tennessee, uh, call your own reps. The uh, You just have to click on, I think it says more info or show more. There's a link right below the video. It says show more. You click on that and pfft, that's if you're on the YouTube page. You have to go to the YouTube. If you're watching this on somebody else's page, it's, you, you go to the YouTube and it's down below You know where you put comments and stuff like that. That's where I put the links and the phone numbers. Uh, if you live in Tennessee, there's even a link so you can find out who your representative is. This is the most important thing. I mean, don't, I mean, you watch Fox News, ABC, CBN, CNN, ABC, and you know what? Their national news, they're sit, they're focused on the White House. White House this, White House that. Nobody's talking about your local representatives. You know, we give the president too much power. You need to get some representatives and senators at your state level and your United States level that has some cojones. You know, and, you know, across the nation, we need to find out who are the uh, the uh, uh, anti-American representatives i even i know that charles schumer in new york is uh very anti-american very anti-constitutional just like diane feinstein out there in california very anti-constitutional woman um you know so uh and you know i used to think that uh that arizona guy what's his name uh he ran for president mm, anyway He's not all right there either. He is, he's, I mean, he wants to stay in Afghanistan. Look, we killed Osama. The people there do not want us there. The Afghani people do not want us there. They do not want to respect our troops. It's time to leave. It's time to leave them to go back, go to, if they want to live in squalor and behead each other, fine. We need to get out. They don't want us there, time to leave. If the people there really wanted us there, uh, they need to maybe adopt our Bill of Rights. You know, everybody has the right to religion. They come over here, they can be a Muslim. Doesn't mean you can shove Muslim down my throat. All right, anyhow. You know, your local elections are just as important as anything. Uh, the Daily Prepper Report is now just a prepper report. You know, I, I noticed for it, it went over good for a little while, but then you YouTubers, it's like you want to be entertained. You don't really want any information, daily information. Uh, I also plan to do a video, some videos to... How would you say fix what the doomsday preppers left out? You know, there was a lot in that doomsday. You know, they said where well, I was making, uh, showing how to make antibiotics. It was showing how to make what some people consider anti an antibiotic alternative. I don't really think it's antibiotic. Some people will swear up and down it is. Okay? It's, anyway, that's a separate video. Uh, you know, need to get out of, and you know... Like I say, for my legal stuff, it's it's daunting. And, I mean, I haven't even gone into the storm damage I had. It knocked out the glass in my sliding glass door. Get roof damage, toward what was left of my downspouts off the side of the house. Uh, busted out the picture window. Everything, all the glass on the northwest side of the house is cracked, busted, or damaged. All right, so you know there's, and I've got in my. You say, well, you got insurance. Yeah, I got insurance with a twenty five hundred dollar deductible. 
So anybody thinks I'm having a good time out here needs to kiss my big furry raccoon's butt. Okay. So that's what's going on out here. I'm hoping maybe to make some more videos. I'm going to do, I don't know about the daily prepper report. I'm going to do it every so often. Unless something happens. Unless there's, you know, the sunspots start rolling around. I'll say, okay. Otherwise, y'all just get bored with it and you won't watch it. I mean, some of you do. I mean, I hate to punish all of you. I mean, some of you for the, but the vast majority get bored with these things. So, like I say, more info to the links. If you want to find out what's going with, on with my firearms thing, the people that have the control, my senator and representative in my area, they definitely know who I am. So don't let them say they don't know who David Sardi is. And if the governor, governor doesn't know it by now, y'all just ain't made enough noise. So, uh, let's see, anything else for uh, channel updates? Uh Got half of a video done on pruning trees. Uh, the camera went out, and so I have to go out there and redo the last half of it. So I'll, I should have that up next day. The wind quits blowing so hard. Uh, uh, let's see. I might do a little bit more on ham radio. I'm not going to teach no classes. There are a ton of videos out there that people articulate that stuff much better than I do. Um, it, and... You know, ham radio is a very technical thing, okay? If you are not technically minded, you will never get it. I'm sorry. It's not that simple. Uh, I mean, people want to pick up a radio and they think they can just key it up and talk on it, and that's not amateur radio. If you want to do that, you need to do CB or FRS. Uh, and even CB radios can be messed up if you don't know how to adjust your antenna. Your antenna is more than half of your transmitter when it gets to range. You have to have altitude. you got to get that antenna up high. You have to have low-loss cable so you don't lose your power getting between the radio and the antenna and stuff like that. Because legally, on, on legal, on CB radio... Even though nobody pays any attention, is four watts. Four watts maximum transmitting power is all you're legally allowed. On single sideband, 12 watts. That's all you're legal with. Now, I know you can take it to a truck stop and get your radio doctored on, where it comes in on people's television sets and, and splatters all over everything, but that is an illegal radio. Okay. Ah, let's see. Anything else? Nope. Oh, if I forget anything, I'll try to annotate it. More info down below.